Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palska International Nail Artist and Educator here. And today we are going to do another crystal placement. You can have a look in here. It's a kind of dream catcher style, the feather, the ones which was supposed to be on my nails. And I decided to record it because you really guys like it, the tutorial on those nails with all the crystal placements and the caviar beads. And I thought that looks absolutely uh, amazing and interesting. I even get inspiration from my own tutorial and I have done the same um, similar kind of uh, style nails for my client and they look absolutely fantastic. I might put actually a picture in the community uh, tab so you can see it as well because it looks awesome on the nails, so nothing too complicated, uh, but uh, looks absolutely fantastic uh, on the nails. And I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial as well. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button. If you're existing subscriber, hit the notification bell to don't miss any future tutorials for me. Let's start! So you can see the feathers. I really wanted them on my nails, uh, but uh, I just didn't have all stuff I was needing. So uh, I will show you how to recreate this look. This is all about the crystal placement and the tutorials about the crystals placement have been highly requested. So that's another one for you. If you want to see it more of those type of designs, just let me know in the comments down below and I will be really happy to produce. Uh, I love like getting a different ideas with the crystals and I thought the feathers they look just absolutely amazing. I've got lots of different bits and pieces and when I was away on holiday I actually got even more plus I'm waiting for a couple more uh, for the delivery as well. I was missing some silver ones. I'm still waiting for a few bits and pieces to come because uh, we could create the chain with the chain um, but the only stuff which I had it so you can play and mix and match. I had like those kind of wee, wee gold things, uh, which looks like actually like a chain and that's what we are going to use. So I find that the base gel, they are over four weeks old, like and the base gel holds the crystals absolutely amazing. So I'm putting a tiny bit of the base gel on the side and then using a kind of old brush and the gem picker, I'm going to place it at on my nail design. You can place it at, actually maybe on this one I will place it straight because on the other one I place it at the side so it doesn't matter which direction you choose. I'm just putting a little bit of this base gel and then sticking in this large crystal piece of the gold. Okay, I wanted it to be nice and straight this time. And then once I'm happy with this placement, I'm going to give it a flash cure. Flash cure is just a couple seconds of the um, and the lamp to freeze the product so it is not going to run. And then some gold caviar beads we are going to need. So I'm just going to squeeze out a couple. Take my base, paint the line and you can do it either straight or you could do it um, kind of wavy one as well. And just applying those caviar beads. Actually I will make it different as well. So caviar beads and then we gem and here and I want to go for some pink for a change so I've got some pink crystals here I'm really sorry I have no clue where I get them from they are about 10 years old <laughs> but I think they look super cute
Placing crystals is actually really time consuming as well. Okay, I want them to be kind of nice and straight this time. And another two beads. Could almost like create a um, different sort of dream catchers with the feathers. Okay, and once you start feeling that your beads are moving too much, give it uh, a flash cure. Just so they are not going to misshaped. Okay, I'm going to pop it into the lamp. It actually looks cool on its own. Just a flash cure, couple seconds. And then here I want my feather. Let me find the feather. I've got it somewhere here. Got all sorts of different bits and pieces. Okay, and you can just move it to the place you really wanted it to stick. So I wanted it to go a little bit on the side. And now I'm going to use the gold caviar beads plus a wee gem. I think that's what looked pretty cool. And we go for we go for this one. It's pretty interesting. Okay, so you can see it, I have, I don't have enough room to squeeze that in, so I need to move this into the place I want. Okay, get the feather a bit more even on the side. Okay, that's me happy with this placement. Now I'm going to pop it into the lamp just to give it a freeze and then we can do another one on the side. So you can play and, and apply different ones. I also have got some uh, shells. I think they look pretty cool as well. Or I've got some moon, like you can see it, the moon as well. So that will look absolutely awesome on the chain too. Actually, we might do that as well. So let me quickly Take the tip, and when I will be flash curing, I will be creating another one, uh, kind of more like a galaxy look to it. I think that will look pretty awesome too. What I love the most about doing the needles, when you create one thing, like you get so many different ideas popping into your head with another design. So this one. And now, because this one is so long, I don't want the other side to be as long, just for a balance, so it looks slightly different. And the same crystals which we have used on the other side. And I got another idea. You could almost create a flowers with this petal. Yay, that would look cool too. OK, 
Okay, so I've got another wee chain. And a wee drop. Maybe this way this time. So the best way to apply the crystals is once you start placing them, you can kind of imagine or check how this is going to look and then you know if you want more or not. I'm going to put it inside the lamp to give it a cure and then we have to secure it everything with the top coat. And then on this one we will do more kind of like an um, galaxy-ish look, maybe not galaxy, kind of stars, moons and the things like that. And for a change, I will go more to the side because the other one we have created straight. Okay, I'm happy with this one. Maybe more to the side. Give it a flash cure. Then this one, we are grabbing the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. and just go around those crystals. So this way they stay on really nice and long time. Okay, one crystal did, oh no, one crystals did move. I show you quickly how to fix it. If you find it too difficult to go with the large brush, you could take a small brush and go around it with the small brush. Now, my crystals have moved in here, and I love when the thing's happening. So I'm just dropping in a little bit of base, and I need to fill it up to kind of, so it looks more even. And what I'm going to do is, I will add some caviar beads. <laughs> Okay, so this way it looks like it was supposed to be this way. <laughs> and then pop it inside the lamp. So those flash curings is really important, like so your crystals don't move. And then here we are going to create the moon. Come on, stay there. And one more. I should really flash cure it. This way it looks nicer. Okay, so I've got some moon. Pop it inside the lamp. And then this one is finished. So we've got two for collection. And I really love how they look. Because you could do it only on the ring finger. And then paint the rest nails like in a one color and I think it looks just so awesome. Okay, so ideally it would be nice to have some star. But I don't think so, I have any. Not in this box. Okay, I've got something like, um, this is a fish star, but... I had some gold stars. I had some gold stars. Okay, I've got one in here in rose gold. Patrick is showing me like, yes, this is a star, but this is a kind of fish star. So I'm not sure if it would go. Oh, actually it would go as well. No one knows it is a fish star. 
Can you guys tell it is a fish star? No, we can't tell. Okay, we're going for this one. Ideally, I should have a gold one like um, here. I've got some stars. Do I? I have seen it one. I should actually tidy up all my crystals like and store them better. No, I can't see it now. I had one in here as well, but it was in the rose gold, so it wouldn't go. He's searching for it now. <laughs> okay, cameraman is going to search for the stars. But I think it wouldn't go. You, you've got it. Showing me with the fingers. In the middle. Oh yeah, I can see it in the middle of the pot. So I've got some star in here. But it's in a rose gold. And there was also another one. Oh, I've got it here now. Here we are. And there is another one. But because it's in a rose gold, I think that will look awesome as well. But because it's in a rose gold and I'm missing those gold ones, I'm not going to uh, place it. All those gold caviar beads. Okay, make them nice and straight. Put it inside the lamp. And I think we're also missing some color. We're missing some color maybe. Okay, I've got two other crystals, just so it's not a sad design compared to the other colorful ones. So a bit of base. Again, caviar beads. They so fiddly. But I think those designs look awesome like and you don't really need the skills to do it. It's just your ideas and uh, the crystals really. That's all what you need. And I wasn't uh, having like use, I, I didn't use many of those crystals like because I didn't have um, maybe ideas, I don't know, or I wasn't sure are they going to last. On my clients needles so I was really scared to use them uh, but after testing like the base keeps even those gold bits and pieces so absolutely fantastic on the needles um, I'm feeling 100% confident to use it on my clients and I know it is going to last really really long time so you will be seeing me with lots of this uh, different crystals uh, on my clients needles Okay, the last two because for a balance again I need some chain to be longer and some shorter. One and the last one. Use the old brush for a crystal placement because as you can see this one is all devastated now. Not devastated, damaged. <laughs> and yeah, that's the moon and a star fish star one uh, done but no one's seen it just a fish star because uh, that's what the only gems i had so uh yeah I'm, I'm i'm definitely going to like place an order for again more and more of those crystals because i think they are looking uh, absolutely fantastic and then this one just a top coat over it and it's completely finished it can go into the collection Imagine all, oh, again, I moved the star. Um, imagine all those uh, different uh, designs for a Christmas time. I know it's so early to talk about the Christmas because we're still in the summertime, uh, but I can imagine like doing all different Christmas bubbles with the crystals placement and the caviar beads. 
and all. But remember, the best tip I can give you if you want them to be nicely placed, each time when you place larger parts, just flash cure it like a couple seconds. So when I will be working on the client, I will place like couple couple beads, then the gem flash cure it, swap to the other hand, couple gems, beads, and you will be working like this, one hand, other hand, uh, so the crystals don't um, don't move. That's the only disadvantage of using the base gel because it's a gel, it is a bit runny, so um, it is kind of, especially when it's so hot, like we've got the temperatures there now, um, and then the crystals might move compared to the glue application, but I think the base make it last much better. And that's the finished designs. So glittery hacks, thank you for watching and bye for now.